going to let you in on a little secret about a man whose books you probably know by heart. Ted Geisel, Dr. Seuss, created imaginary worlds that were absolutely fantastic in his children's books, but the art that he created for himself has largely been a secret until now. We're going to find out about the secret art of Dr. Seuss. Valerie Jackson is the curator of this traveling exhibit that's at the factory at Franklin this week. This is really spectacular. Well, Tell me you. about it. We are so very excited to be here. Franklin is a destination we've been wanting to come for a while. Uh, we've just started to actually travel with the exhibit. We've always kept it in galleries for the last 20 years, so we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of his work. So we have about 100 pieces or more here for everybody to see. So Dr. Seuss had an entirely different life outside of the children's books. When you see this show, you're going to be shocked at, at the mind of Dr. Seuss. This started in the late 20s and ended when he died in 1991. So it's not just about the wonderful stories and books that he wrote. It's about his private work that he painted at night for stress relief and relaxation. It's political. It's got some political works in it. He did over 400 published uh, political pieces in his life. We have magazine covers, we have calendar covers, we have his unor unorthodox taxidermies, and lots of other surprises. Each picture tells a story, and this one is really fascinating. Tell me about it. Yes, this is reminiscent of the house he grew up in in Springfield, Massachusetts. And it's got a lot of detail in it. And if you notice, up in the corner is a cat sitting in the window. Whenever you see that cat, it's Dr. Seuss himself. Wow. Yeah. And kids' toys and things in the yes, yard? the toys are in the yard. The, the snow is melting. Uh, his bike is tucked up under the, the, the house there. It's fun to look in through the windows. The colors are amazing. And it's very influenced by the artist Gaudi, who was a famous architect. You can see kind of a hint of Dr. Seuss from the books in this picture, oh, but definitely. it's so different. Very different. It's called Green Cat with Lights. You see the whole body of him with the grinchy hands with a big headdress of lights on his head. He, sp he always signed his work Dr. Seuss, but in, in this particular case, he made up a name, Strugo Von M, to <laughs> fool his friends because he didn't want them to know he painted it and he wanted to hear their comments about it. Most people don't know that Dr. Seuss was a sculptor too. Exactly. This is really exciting. Dr. Seuss's father was the superintendent of the zoo in Springfield, Massachusetts, where he grew up. And when Ted moved to New York City, his father started sending him the parts of the animals when they perished. So he got out his plaster and he recreated the characters and brought them back to life using actual parts of the animals. So we call this the unorthodox taxidermies. It's amazing. There's fish on the other side. Um, just so many whimsical yes. characters. You can see his personality through them. He was, uh, he was a genius. He was amazing. He speaks to everybody and he makes you smile. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And when you come to see this, it is free, it but is you free. could purchase these oh, Everything is for sale. They're all very limited editions. Um, they start at $295 and go all way on up there, depending on what you're looking for. Unless you think this is just a children's exhibit. No. There's so much more. No, no, it's much more than that. It's for every age group, and it's a good investment, and they're, they're, they're historic, they're conversational, they have all the bells and whistles. I tell you what, it is fascinating to see it. You can see them here at the factory at Franklin, up on the second level near Jameson Hall. Uh, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you've got a reception too, right? Yes, uh, Friday night, 4 to 8 is the reception, Saturday, 4 to 8 is the reception, and then the show runs from 11 to 8, Friday, Saturday, and 12 to 4 on Sunday. It's amazing to see in person. I hope you'll come on out. You can get all the details online at annjacksongallery.com. Valerie, thanks so much. Thank you.